Hi Leo, welcome to... <laughs> I have no idea. Welcome to your week ahead Tarascope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you this week. Your key to the week is the Tower card. Are you ready for change? Are you ready for big change? Are you ready for drastic change? And more importantly, are you ready to see something from a different perspective that really does feel like a bird's eye view? Whenever the tower card shows up, you can rest assured that you are going to be seeing things in a very different light. Actually, especially because Mercury is newly direct at this point, and I kind of feel like this is one of those moments where you're really gonna understand on a very deep fundamental level what that retrograde has actually represented for you. What it's set into motion is now going to become evident. I really like the Tower card because, you know what, every so often it kind of shakes us out of our complacency, right? Um, that's not to say that it's always a pleasant experience. Sometimes the Tower card can be really heavy uh, depending on the cards that show up with it. But this week I kind of feel like it's giving you a fresh look at something where you're going to kind of say, huh, you know what, I, I hadn't actually thought about it like that. And this is a good thing, right? It's a it's actually a really great thing. This is one of the things we, we as society, like, teaches us, like, oh, you shouldn't be surprised by anything, or you shouldn't be blindsided by anything. Like, where is the fun in any of that? Like, seriously, to be able to be shocked and surprised and awed by life is one of the things that keeps it fresh, that keeps it moving. Yes, I say this as a, a Leo Ascendant, as many of you already know, I also have a lot of fixed, uh, uh, fixed energy in my chart. So if I can tell you that surprises actually are and can be a good thing, then you know what? Maybe you need to broaden your perspective. Now, that being said, if you are a continued subby, you know Ravi Loja. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button for your action. Uh, uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, for our actions and options, we have the Four of Swords. So wherever it is that you've had your rest, wherever it is that you were taking your sweet time on everything, this is that moment, right? I'm gonna say this to you, you may feel this week that there are just not enough hours in the day. However, it does look like some of you are hurtling towards the end of a deadline, right? So this week I'm gonna say to you, don't convince yourself that you've got all the time in the world because the chances are you probably have less than you think. And that's not meant to scare you, it's just meant to kind of say to you, okay, you know what? Up until now, maybe things have been moving a bit slower, but you're gonna see things really start to ramp up a gear from here on onwards. Now, what this also suggests as well, that change of perspective that I was talking about with the Four of Swords, not only is this shaking you out of your complacency, if you've had any, or maybe it's shaking you out of that sort of restful, kind of easy period that you've had. If you haven't seen it, check out the Weekly General, because the message was this week, it's back to work, right? Whatever it is that you consider your work, you're back in it, all right? So this could be great. Now, the other thing as well, in terms of your options, for some of you, this might be a week where you would prefer to wait and see, but you don't have that luxury, you don't have that option. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Ace of Wands. This is some fantastic news that's on its way into you, right? So this is regarding a project, maybe a literary project for some of you. If you've been trying to get books, blogs, websites, or anything like that out into the world, this is a development. You are going to see movement starting to take shape. You're gonna to start to feel the momentum really build. For a select few of you, this may also be a communication that comes in direct from the universe. The lightning bolt comes directly through or it communicates with your inspiration, your mind. You could have an idea, you could find a solution to a problem. There'll be something that comes in this week where you kind of go, oh my gosh, 
this is brilliant. You're understanding something differently. You're seeing something from a different perspective or you're finding a novel solution to a problem or an issue that you've had. And it's like, this is really great for you because it gets things moving. This could also be some surprise or shocking news that comes in that absolutely delights you. Where you're kind of like, yeah, I can use this, right? This is information, knowledge or wisdom that I can actually do something with. If you are studying, don't be surprised this week if you are uh, called upon, maybe if you get some sort of an accolade or some kind of recognition. I will say for a lot of you that are employed by other people, this looks like something is being initiated in your workplace, but it's something that you literally take to like really easily. And so the feeling that I get from this as well, maybe some of you have been quite apprehensive about a change that you knew was coming to the work. And it's like, oh, you know, this is going to happen. And then when it happens, you kind of like hit the ground running and you're like, ah, oh, I don't know what I was so worried about. Like this could, you know, it could just feel really great. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, are you ready? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say to you. Like, are you ready? Because uh, this is, you know, whatever is initiated this week, you're going to be feeling the ripples reverberate for some time. And I say that in the best way, like I genuinely do. I love the Ace of Wands anyway, because um, I'm naturally a, a bit of a Tigger Leo. You know, I'm one of the bouncier, more theatrical ones, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, I love this. Um, I will say, don't go too fast. It might be like, well, you know, everything's going fast anyway, so I might as well speed up as well. You take a little bit of a slowdown so that you can anticipate all the changes and chops that are coming up. For your uh, those of you that are retired and no longer working, uh, don't be surprised if you're called out into action this week, whether this is that you're called back to work, whether you find work if you've been looking. If you're retired and you're not planning to go back to work, this may literally be where some project or maybe vocation that you had wanted to go ahead with that's been on hold or hasn't been working properly or whatever finally goes ahead. For those of you that have websites or are looking to get websites set up, this is the time, like this is a good week for moving forward with a project like that. For your love and relations, okay, so look, you've got the Nine of Swords with the Tower card. If I'm completely honest with you, because you've got this Four of Swords here, I don't think this is the end of your relationship. What I do feel though, this might be some news that your significant other receives that's quite difficult for them to process and they'll need your help and your support with it. So it's like, you're not worried so much about the relationship, but you are worried about your partner and it's because probably they have some news coming in that isn't so great. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. It just means that you're going to have to play more of the supportive role rather than the leadership role this week. For those of you that are single and looking, look, it's the Nine of Swords, it's the Four of Swords, it's the Ace of Wands. You could be really rethinking an old relationship, an old partnership. You could be seeing it from a different perspective. You could be seeing your part in a previous relationship from a very different viewpoint and now starting to understand, huh, okay, maybe there's a, you know, maybe for a few of you, maybe you're thinking, wow, there might be a future with this person after all, once we kind of both get over our collective-ish. Um, but you're seeing a way through it, or you're at least gaining a new perspective that actually lightens and brightens your outlook for your money and materials. You got the Ten of Cups. So look, there are challenges here, um, but you're finding a way through all of them. The fact that you've got the Ten of Cups in your money and materials, your finances, your resources, especially if you've had a slowdown in that, this suggests that there is big changes to come in your finances and your resources, especially over the next three to six months. You're going to start to see big stuff happen here, specifically though, from this week onwards, right the way through to the end of the year, your finances and your resources are picking up. Money is looking good, especially with that Ace of Wands, because it's like a lot of your ideas or things that you're putting the feelers out on are starting to gain traction. And you're almost like, Okay, well, I'm not doing anything. This just seems to be happening. So, nice. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, you couldn't ask for any more than that with this card because this card usually represents solid healing um, for a select few of you. I mean, when those, uh, the other thing as well with the Ten of Cups and health, 
it can speak literally like on a physical level to your feet because you've got the tower card please watch out for your feet your toes your ankles that whole general area and then when it comes to the home you can't ask for a better card than this when it comes to home because it literally represents the happy healthy wealthy home all right so your the home life looks good this week um if any of you do have <clears throat> problems or challenges with the home this week it's very likely to be the roof uh, i hope i'm wrong but just a potential all right with that said all in all i think it's a yeah probably a mixed bag but it's a bit more 60 40 than most people would see this with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon